What's up guys, it is a T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the biggest lie told about Luka Doncic. So, before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate all the support. So, Luka Doncic has had an amazing rookie year, putting up historic numbers that have surpassed even LeBron James' first year numbers. Luka is averaging 21.1 points, 7.6 rebounds, 5.9 assists, 1.1 steals, and 0.3 blocks in 32.2 minutes per game, and he has an overall great all-around game with very few weaknesses already. Of course, he does need to improve his efficiency a bit, as well as his defense, but besides that, there aren't really many holes in Luka's game. However, one thing that many people have said that was a big weakness for Doncic coming into the NBA, and actually what some are still saying, is that Luka is unathletic. People believe that this will limit Luka's ceiling on both ends of the floor, and it would be a huge problem for Doncic. However, this has simply not been the case, and it's just not true. Luka may not be considered very athletic by conventional standards, such as being a high flyer who could have highlight reel dunks in games, but he is athletic in many other ways. So by definition, athleticism is considered the physical qualities that are characteristics of athletes such as strength, fitness, and agility. Luka specifically has great strength which has allowed him to thrive on offense. He is strong enough to back down opposing players, and when he drives to the rim, we've seen him use his strength many times to finish through contact. On defense, we've also seen him use his strength to hold his own in the paint against bigger players, and this has allowed him to switch on defense with some success, although like most rookies, he isn't a very good defender yet. But I did also want to point out a key component of what many people would consider a part of athleticism that Luka thrives in, which is balance. We've seen how well Doncic utilizes his balance on offense, where he uses his ability to always stay on balance to score. While Luka may not have the quickest first step, he still is able to get to the rim and create space by mastering the ability of accelerating and decelerating. He drives at an increasing speed when getting to the rim, but when he gets into the paint, we've seen him been able to slow down with ease and get space for an easy shot. This is because defenders are accelerating with Doncic when going to the basket, but Luka has always been able to catch him off guard by being able to control and balance himself to slow himself down while his defender is still accelerating. This allows him to create space for himself, and this is something that many NBA players struggle to truly master. Overall, Luka Doncic may not be what many people would consider to be very athletic, because he isn't a very high leaper, but when you take a close look at his game, he does use other aspects of great athleticism to thrive in the NBA. He has great strength and balance that likely surpasses most other players, and this is something that has gotten overlooked. We should stop determining athleticism by only looking at a player's vertical leap, and I think this is what scouts did in the 2018 NBA draft, leading to Doncic sliding to the number 3 pick. So while Doncic may not be able to jump the highest in the NBA, he is still definitely not unathletic by any means, which is the biggest lie told about him. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business or have any video ideas for me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to our guys there. Drop a comment down below on who you think will be the rookie of the year. Do you think it's going to be Luka, Trey Young, or someone else? Let me know down in the comments below. As I do read all comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So, with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully, I will see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.